Oh, testing, testing. Yes, I can see the audio jumping, so you can hear me, right? So welcome back to the part two of our chapter eight a homework explanation, right? This time, we are going to look at the last part, okay, and the revision exercise to see uh, how we can draw diagrams to uh, represent demand and supply situations, right? So let's get started. Let's go to page 10 of your uh, homework, right? Here, the three MCs, right? Now, first of all, which one about shortage and surplus is correct, right? Now, as a revision, remember, shortage refers to the situation, right? When QD is larger than QS, Okay, so this is a situation because where uh, of price setting below equilibrium okay right. surplus is the opposite refers to the situation when qd is smaller than qs too many uh, people wanting to supply a good right but not enough people wanting to buy it it is a situation when price setting above sorry uh, above equilibrium okay it's correct okay Surplus happens when supply is larger than demand. No, QS larger than QD, not when supply is larger than demand. Okay, we are only talking about a certain price. Okay, scarcity implies shortage. Yes, that uh, 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 no, actually, right? Sorry, how far far here? Scarcity does not imply shortage, right? In fact, it is totally possible that during equilibrium, there is equilibrium where they no shortage, right? But as there is price, there will be price competition, which means there is scarcity. So scarcity, no shortage. Okay, so B is not correct. Okay, now C, excess demand is a result of price setting and being below equilibrium price, right? I think this is the answer, right? Excess demand shortage, right? C is the answer. And D, excess supply can be eliminated by an increase in price and excess supply surplus, right? I think the price should be set below, right? Should be lowered, not increased, right? So answer is C here. But there you go. Which the following about equilibrium is incorrect. There is no tendency for both uh, uh, price and quantity transacted to change. No tendency. Equilibrium, key point, no tendency. Okay, how about time I see this in come difference between QD and QS at equilibrium price is zero. Yes, how about this is the so called market clearing, which is D, right? Market is said to be cleared as all QD of that co uh, of consumer and QS are satisfied. Yes, how about that? I see some more. Also, in B to my D, I want you to study B and D in pair. All right, here the wording in D is all. QD and all QS are satisfied. Wording in B are all wants. They are not the same. Gauge QD, QS are, we are talking about here. Wants plus purchasing power. Hai yao purchasing power, yao nan ne go za yang being satisfied. Ha? What about those without the purchasing power, without the ability, but still have wants? No, they are not satisfied. Therefore, all wants in the market are satisfied, are wrong. This is a wrong answer because, okay, because some people, here, let's write it down. People with wants, but without ability to buy or sell are not satisfied okay satisfied so b is incorrect okay finally 
when market price is set above equilibrium. Okay, 好啦，嗱，記住啦 ，when market price is set above equilibrium, what will happen? Right, first of all, we will know when price according to the law of supply. Right, price increase. So what would happen according to law of demand? QD would decrease. QS would increase. Okay, law of demand and law of supply. Okay, so let's see what would happen when price increase. QD would decrease. In fact, get you that in a shortage and a surplus, the lower of the quantity would become the quantity transacted. Okay, 好嘛，所以你望望啦。Quantity supplied would be larger than the quantity transacted. I think this is the answer, right? A is the answer, right? 我哋望埋其他啦。Quantity supplied would be smaller than QT. No, 好嘛。Then quantity demanded would be larger than the quantity sub、uh, transacted. No, it is the quantity transacted. 好嘛 ，it will be the same as the quantity transacted. So only A is correct. OK， 得唔得 ？A 啫。好啦，等，好嘛？好，嗱 ，Let's look at here。啊，我睇睇多次有冇睇錯先？啊，包即係 QS 會升啦，所以 QS 會大過 QT 啦。Yes， will be larger A。好啦 ，Now let's look at the long questions and short questions， right？ 好啦 ，Now by 嗱，唔該啊，第一第一件事啊。Now at first thing， right？ Many of you didn't read the instructions。Of the question, 好多人冇睇到 instruction 啊。Okay, I ask you to notate equilibrium as PE, equilibrium as QE. Then I ask you, the price above equilibrium as PA. Okay, 好多人写 P 一 P 二啊，唔知做乜嘢啊。Okay, 喂，睇条题目。Explain how price and QT would eventually adjust. When it is set above equilibrium, so many of you only give me a diagram of either surplus or shortage, without telling me how it would adjust downwards. Okay, 好多人啊，我系问你个 adjustment， 我唔系净问你 above 或者 below， 我系问你佢 above 嘅时候点样跌翻落去。我要問你 ，when it is below equilibrium， how it would adjust to upwards？ Many of you miss out the part， the change part， OK？ Now because of time limitation， right？ Come on， let's look at the answer。OK？ Now first one， the diagram will show excess supply or some of you would prefer to call it surplus， right？ 啊，包法 OK， 包法 OK。你可以叫 excess supply 又得。叫做 surplus 又得，兩個都可以。OK， 好嘛 ？You need to tell me when price is above equilibrium, there will be excess supply。跟住啦，就開始漏曬啲嘢啦。When there is excess supply, you need to tell me producer would reduce price to clear excess inventory. The process would continue until stocks are cleared at equilibrium price. Therefore, the diagram will start like this. Original price is PA, right? There will be excess supply. Later on, right? You will see that、uh, all obviously at PA, the quantity transacted will be at QA as well. 喺呢度啦，系嘛？记住啦 ，always the smaller of the quantity， 系嘛？比细啲嗰个，唔好唔好谂 QD QS。Always the smaller of the quantity, right? QA here. What happens is that as the seller lower the price. From P A to P E. Remember to draw arrows. Okay, these arrows. You want to find the point. Okay, the arrows. The movement. Ah, always draw arrows in your diagrams to uh, uh to indicate movements. Okay, or mark this time from P A down to P E. Therefore, the quantity transacted would move from Q A to Q E as well. Okay, or mark so. Diagram like this. 好多人漏咗 adjustment 呢一步啊。Say right. If the price is below, then there will be excess supply or shortage. Okay. 嗱，你中意又可以叫 shortage 又得。
okay you can also call it shortage excess supply shortage etc right Mama? verbal explanation you tell me when it is below equilibrium price there is an excess demand or shortage therefore P a a seller would know that this is very popular so they will sell more buy and they will sell higher price so when you know my my great day to all deal how much this process would continue until all QD is satisfied if I got more on pie to that no one is queuing up anymore right then they will stop there right so PB and then it was just upward to PE the quantity transactor sorry QB right would increase to QE quantity transactor okay how much hold on that love me now remember read the questions carefully we I asked you adjustment how it adjusts from surplus or shortage okay number now this here I'm sure that be like that therefore you will see as long as the price is not at equilibrium there will be a downward pressure or upward pressure of the price therefore we know why PE is equilibrium price because at QE okay the at PE outside of PE the price tends to change back to PE I my ah you go look up my PE la could I would you get just final home until it is PE PE is a point that where there is no tendency to change okay and that so this is how you represent not exactly a difficult question actually the difficult question is the next one no no I got you I see how now, first of all, I ask you only draw diagram, no need explanation. Okay, here it says an increase in unemployed uh, in a minimum wage result in higher unemployment. Please highlight the word higher increase what does it mean it implies that originally there was already there was a minimum wage and unemployment you seen eating your unemployment talking your minimum wage existing there was an existing minimum wage and unemployment therefore in your diagram you need to actually give me two unemployment and two wage level okay now obviously always tell me the equilibrium wage and equilibrium quantity of work okay of work okay you're going to get a work car okay always tell me the equilibrium so you will see originally the minimum wage is at w1 which is above equilibrium now don't worry you will learn that again in chapter 11 okay for now just remember minimum wage is above equilibrium minimum minimum meaning you want to push it up right they can set the goal dealer originally there is an unemployment level of this one now you push up the wage level which means the unemployment would become this big gap how many good gap on the diet or again old unemployment small gap new unemployment new gap so many of you only assume it starts at we no this is an increase in minimum wage and increase in unemployment rate meaning originally there was already an existing unemployment and existing minimum wage okay the same logic applies here an increase in consultation fee in public and private hospital leading to shorter average waiting time well, boys first of all when we talk about waiting or lining up you 
即係咩意思啊？好多人呢度已經嘈咗，記住要等啊！點解要等啊 ？Because there was not enough for the consumer. It means there is shortage. 唔知點解好多人話咗 surplus 啊 ？No, it's actually a shortage. Okay, 唔夠啊！記住 lining up, waiting, meaning it is a shortage. 唔夠啊，得唔得啊 ？OK， 好啦，我哋望望啦。嗱 ，here originally the old shortage is right here. OK， is right here， 係嘛 ？There is an old shortage. This gap. Now the question says the consultation fee increase, so it increase from P1 to P2, resulting in shorter waiting time. 係短咗，但係仲有 waiting time， 即係仲有 shortage。Therefore， 誒、欸、打漏咗添。Therefore， there is actually still a shortage。Only that the shortage have increased， become shorter。OK， 係咪？只不過係，哎呀，講先。It's only that the shortage。Right here, okay. 嗱唔夠位啊，係嘛 ？Right here, you will see the new shortage. The gap is smaller. 咩叫 shortage 少咗啊 ？Average waiting time, the time for queuing up would decrease. Okay, 會降低。OK， 等候嘅時間短咗 ，because the shortage becomes less serious。OK， 得唔得？嗱 ，so these two I understand because in our lesson I deliberately 我特登啊唔畫公仔畫出腸嘅。OK，I、okay? deliberately didn't tell you, I didn't teach you in detail how to do it. I want you to try to think about. OK， I want you to try to think about. How to do it, right? 係咪？我特登冇畫公仔畫出場啦。好啦，啊 ，sorry 啊 ，Part B, the title is missing, right? Here, it should be the 係咪 ？Should be hospitals, 誒、uh, hospital, right? Okay, hospital or medical services. Okay, this is a medical services market. Okay, 好嘛？嗱 ，I know some of you also think 你話唔係話 sir。醫院唔係 fix 死嘅咩 ？So I also accept some of you have drawn a vertical supply line. I also accept. 你醫院係咁多位就咁多位噶啦，係咪 ？I also accept. But the most important thing is you need to tell me the shortage becomes smaller. Okay, because of the increase in price, the shortage becomes smaller. Okay, 得唔得 ？So this is how you do it. Now question two. Now here, just take a screen cap of the answer. 誒誒唔解釋嘅，因為全部都啱啊。All of you get it correct, okay? So not going to explain here. So finally, let's move on to our chapter revision, okay? Now this is a real case, right? Now actually, you will see Denmark used to have sugary drink tax, but I think it was abolished in two thousand and twelve. 我話 thirteen， 而家二零一二零一二零二零一三就取消咗啦，冇咗個肥仔税啦，好冇？好啦 ，now here， how would price of a sugar drink change with a tax enforced？ 冇話啦，收税計貴咗啦，係咪啊 ？Then I ask you， if the law of demand， explain how a sugar drink tax may discourage people from consuming the high sugar drinks？ OK， this one is very easy， right？ Because by the law of demand， higher the price， lower the QD。Now here with a higher price, people's willingness and ability, 記住啦，人人嘅 willingness, the ability to buy soft drinks would decrease. Therefore, they will buy less. This is how you discourage, right? Then B one asks, what will happen to the quantity, a total quantity? Okay, like the total, the total quantity consumed according to the law of demand, right? Higher the price, lower the, uh, uh, go up, not go out. Sorry, ah, goes up. Okay, the total. Quantity consumed would decrease according to the law of demand. No problem. Ah, now these three, these three things are all very good. Okay. Then part B two, surprisingly well done. I think you guys did a great job. Okay. Now, let's look at it. Okay. I think you guys did a great job. Okay. Now, let's look at it. 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 Okay.
好吗？那 Part B right? I've shown you right? 係嘛 ？You will see. 嗱，我哋簡化咗件事，當然現實冇咁簡單啦。但係我哋簡化咗件事啦。You will see that, right? 咁啊 ，You will see that. 嗱 ，These are the average price of the uh soft drinks, right? In in at Denmark, right? Then I tell you, the sugary drink tax is a uh is one point six Danish krones per one thousand millimeters, uh uh milliliter, okay? And the tax is calculated on a pro rata basis. Calculated on a pro rata basis. Make a pro rata. So this is actually a percentage. Okay. You know, I can go percentage. Okay. So immediately, this is remember. 自己写低佢啦 Immediately, we know this is not. Ah, lump sum tax. So I told you, I've been talking about the same thing. So why? You see, see, see. Part B two. I ask you to show your calculation. You have to calculate for me. Right? Okay. Let's look at it. Original relative price of one bottle of this drink would be equal to two point two two bottles of the small size drink. Right now, the new relative price, get you up, um, tong size, he be um, tong so ya on a pro rata basis. Okay, so the new, uh, uh, new and uh, nominal price will be 40 plus 1.6 times the ratio. Okay, according to the size, right? That would give us 2.28 bottles of, uh, of the smaller size drinks. You see, right? Originally. It is worth two point two two. Now it is worth two point two eight. Do you see that the relative price of a large size drinks actually goes up? 原來係貴咗嘅相對之下 ，therefore the relative quantity demanded would go down for the larger size drinks. Therefore, average size would decrease. OK， 呢個咪我哋個 relative version of law of demand 咯，係咪啊？嗱 ，surprisingly， 啊呢個 place 係咪呢個一定要讚下 ？This question surprisingly well done。I think most of you get it correct， 係咪啊？真係計計中曬啊！啊 ，I think you guys right get the idea that 係咪 ？This is not a pro rata。Okay, so you see, right? You need to calculate the relative price using the new uh, uh, nominal prices. Okay, 係嘛？嗱呢條計得幾好啊！我覺得計得幾好啊！好啦，嗱 ，finally， 嗱呢個睇你眼誒嚟唔嚟嘅啫，係咪啊 ？Finally, you will see that right. The statement says the average size would increase. 嗱呢個你知錯啦。As the lump sum Increase in price, okay. You know, little told to us. So, why this statement is wrong? Okay, now in B2, you already know this is wrong, but then you need to point out to me why it is wrong because it is not a lump sum increase in price. So, it is different from. What we have learned in our normal lessons, right? This is not a lump sum. This is a pro rata basis, right? This is a percentage. This is not a lump sum. Okay, okay. Therefore, the percentage increase is not lower than the percentage increase in the small size. Okay, you need to say this again. It is not a lump sum increase. Okay, come on. So, boys, you will see why I chop up this video. You see that, right? Am I because in previous part we talk about diagrams, right? And again, we have revised the relative version of the law of demand. So, overall speaking, I think chapter eight, the most difficult part, is actually the relative version of the law of demand. Again, I see many of you are uh, uh, not so good with the diagram. But it's fine, right? Because there are a lot of diagrams in your chapter nine. Okay, now that so hopefully with this video, right, you guys already right 
already have a better understanding of how to approach uh, demand and supply uh, uh, questions. I suppose I will see you again in our supplementary lessons for our chapter nine. So remember to keep paying effort and you will do fine for demand and supply. Don't worry too much, all right? See you later then. Bye-bye.